Hi everyone, welcome back to Lockdown Series. Today we are joined by Frankie Dwight, who is the president of ARU Mental Wellbeing Society at ARU Students Union. Hi, Frankie, how are you? Hello, thank you. I'm good, thank you. Thank you so much for your time and joining us. Uh, you know, this uh, these sessions are actually uh, in, inclined towards giving support to uh, ARU community students and staff in actually coping coping up with their uh, mental well-being uh, and mental health. So. Do you have any uh, specific advices or tips that you would like to give? Because I see that you are involved in a society where it is completely looking into the mental health and all. Yeah, um, so well, my main tip for everyone is just to basically use the resources that are available to you. Um, obviously, we've just started up the AIU Mental Wellbeing Society. Um, where we do like to post uh, positive posts. We try and post um, as many contact informations as possible for organisations that people could find support in. Um, and we're hoping to uh, get some guest speakers in as well. And we're going to run like fun activities and competitions, especially over lockdown, to keep people occupied. Um, another resource that I've just recently um, found, which is a great one, is a organisation called Shout. Um, so if you text SHOUT, all in capitals, to 85258, um, a trained volunteer will text you back and will just keep texting you and get try and um, help you out with the situation that you're currently in and can also help you find more long-term support. Um, and then there's obviously charities like Mind, where their website has a bunch of different resources for people as well, which is brilliant. And I know a lot of the girls on the committee like to use um, Headspace, the app, and they find it really useful as well to help de-stress. Thank you so much. I think this is a really a great uh, piece of information what you have provided. I was not sure about this one. Uh, I think really students will use this opportunity. And uh, yeah, we have seen the social media engagement on, on the society pages and it's going really great. Uh, thank you for that. And uh, so my next question to you is uh, what you personally uh, prefer for your mental well-being? Do you consider hobbies or something? Yeah, um, I mean, I love to read. <laughs> that is a big one. Um, also, I feel I'll find that when I'm ever feeling like um, in a low stage or just feeling a bit lonely, I like to rewatch TV series that I know very well, <laughs> like I've seen countless times, because it just gives you something familiar to focus on and it just makes me feel a little bit more calm. Um, also, I love making lists. Uh, especially great obviously when you've got assignments and everything coming up to be able to just list everything down know what needs to be done and when and it just helps organize your mind a bit more and calms me down a lot and just makes me feel more in control of everything um, I do it in the morning as well I'll get up and I'll write down a list of everything that I want to get done in that day obviously you need to make them small and manageable and be able to get them done um, but yeah it just really helps me <laughs> That, that's good to know that your hobby is reading. Uh, so, uh, how many books you you have any targets? You fix any targets in reading your books as well? So, um, no, I never set targets. I just like sometimes I'll be like I'll read every day for a month straight, and then other times I won't touch a book for like a week or so. <laughs> but I just I like being able to read when I want. If I set targets for myself, I'll probably just feel so disappointed if I don't reach them. <laughs> So you're a criminology student, right? If I'm not wrong. Uh, Escape studies, yeah. Yeah. So uh, you prefer reading only those related uh, genre or something else? No, my main genre that I go for is actually romance. <laughs> I love romance. I do love reading about true crime as well, but romance is the main one that I go for. <laughs> interesting to know thank you so much uh, for sharing this information and advices uh, it was really helpful uh, thank you for joining us today uh, and thank you everyone for watching this one we'll be back we'll be back again with another episode of lockdown series thank you so much bye